do on the committees is really essential in order for OMJUG to be able to achieve its strategic plan, in order for us to be able to execute it. So the role that you play is critical. And I know that the OMDREB uh, board and the staff are thrilled that you're all here today. And we're going to spend some time um, talking about the committees. And um, in, a, in a little bit, I'm going to have the directors introduce themselves and introduce the committees that they chair so that you can understand a little bit more about the different committees. Some of you have already decided which committees that you want to sit on. Some of you haven't made that decision yet. And as uh, Alan was pointing out, some of you may know of somebody who may be interested in a particular committee. So as we're going through, make sure that you're taking some notes, paying attention for yourself, but also people that you know, that you think they might be a good fit or they might be interested in a particular. My name is Alan Evans. I've been on the board of directors for this is my sixth year on the board. Uh, I've been licensed since 2005. Uh, this year, I am either chair or co-chair of three committees, uh, including MLSIT. Uh, professional Standards, and the Events Committee. Uh, so quickly, MLSIT, um, as you saw as we went through the strategic plan, uh, we were involved in bringing MLS services to the membership, okay? Not only uh, the technology side of it, but collaborating with other boards, uh, the new technologies with going mobile, um, and, and any of the aspects of Matrix itself, the, the, the features, the you know, going from 9 to 20 photos, all that kind of stuff all kind of stems out of the MLS and IT committee. Um, the events committee is probably the next most uh, prominent committee that, that you guys would see on a regular basis. So the events committee um, helps put on all the social events for the board and its membership, including um, the AGM, the Christmas luncheon, uh, the golf tournament. Uh, we do a bowling event in the fall. Um, Typically, that committee will meet uh, more frequently, uh, but have a more specific task at each meeting. So we, that the uh, events committee may meet up to six or seven times a year. Okay? Um, and then professional standards, the dirt. You want to know what people are doing wrong. You want to know the complaints that are coming in from other members, uh, whether it be from the public. That The first point of contact there is through the professional standards committee. Um, we would evaluate that case and decide whether or not it's something that's within our jurisdiction to enforce. Uh, we could then send it to a RIA or a RICO um, or to the discipline committee as well. So they meet as needed. Um, truthfully, we have a very ethically driven membership um, and we don't see that many cases, but when we do, we meet as needed. Any questions? I'm involved in all of them, so let's line up. Awesome, thank you. Next. Okay, that's fantastic. Can I read fast? Or is he... Sorry, sorry. Come on here. Now, now, as we're going through, you do have a list of all the committees in your package, uh, so make sure that you're taking notes of the ones that you want to sit on or ideas that you have of people that you know that you might refer to. Charlotte, go ahead. Okay, I'm Charlotte Forge. I've been a director on the board for five years. Um, I've been a member since 23. I am the chair of the Milton Initiatives Committee and co-chair of Finance and PR Advisory, I think. Um, Milton Initi Initiatives Committee um, basically represents the Milton members. We help uh, try to get more volunteers from the Milton members on the board. Um, we report to the board on any issues the Milton members may be having or anything that they you know, are asking the board to help them with. Um, and we most recently created an awareness marketing campaign to help actively promote the use of the local Milton Realtor to try to uh, promote to the public why they should use a local realtor. And some of our focus for 2014 will be to continue that campaign and help implement uh, a similar campaign to help promote the local Oakville Realtor. Um, my, my committee is pretty full right now, but I wouldn't mind having an Oakville member join because right now I have all Milton members and so to move forward with the Oakville campaign it would be nice to have an Oakville representative. Just throwing that out there. Um, that's it. Alright, thank you. Yes. Hi, I'm 
Mazid Sanji, I'm the past president. Uh, am I already chair? Okay, I am already past president. No, no, you can have it, chair. Um, very involved last year with the strategic plan that you looked at, and uh, like I say, it was great working with Jennifer and uh, and uh, all the board and the staff in putting this together. I am chairing or co-chairing a number of committees, so I'm going to look at the book because I've lost track of which ones I am chairing, but I'm chairing the, uh, the commercial committee with Tom, with Tom Ferguson. Uh, we're looking for, obviously, members who would be interested in developing further that area. Uh, we work with the manager of professional development in developing programs and courses for commercial uh, uh, practitioners. Um, we are looking at the possibility of transitioning, fr transitioning from commercial committee to a um, council uh, for various different reasons, which we'll talk about later on. Um, we talk about MLS on matrix, etc. And we're also looking at developing the resimmersial people into the commercial area, giving them more education on how they can be more involved and successful in the commercial real estate business. I am also on the Government Relations Committee uh, with uh, Jack, uh, and this is where we try and bring a lot of relationships between the local government and the board, keep you up to date on the local activity at the different municipalities that are within our jurisdiction. And we also participate in the OREA and CREA PAC days finding out whatever else is happening and affecting us in Ontario or Canada-wide. And this is a committee where we are looking for members to bring us more information, attend council meetings, and be able to bring uh, more uh, <coughs> info on the development happening within our uh, areas. Um, I also am involved in the President's Charity Committee. As you know, most of you know that the President's Charity Committee was created uh, a few years ago under Jeff, and we have the annual gala. We did not have one last year, uh, and we chose to have a major one this year. Uh, so the two presidents, Jack and myself, uh, are going to be doing a major 60th anniversary gala this year. And our charity of choice, again, this year is Habitat for Humanity. And uh, we also... Um, supported uh, the hospital, our Oakville hospital, uh, uh, last year as part of this double year activity. Uh, this is a very fun area to be involved in, and we'd like a lot more involvement from members uh, in developing this major, major gala that we want to uh, bring to the forefront this year. So we would really, really appreciate involvement in this, in this committee. A new uh, committee or a new uh, task force that was uh, struck this year or last year to start this year is the Strategic Alliance Task Force, which is uh, chaired by Michelle, um, past president Michelle Gav uh, Gavry, and I'm co-chairing with her. And uh, this is a committee. You want something to you got to cough? <laughs> you give me so much. The, the directors have instructions that they are to talk about those committees they chair, not co chair. Co -chair. So okay. you're getting so excited. And I'm and excited I know you're passionate because it's so about what exciting. You're doing. <laughs> so, so exciting. I don't want you to steal anybody's thunder. You okay. can step on Jack a little bit. But I know Michelle has been talking for a little bit. So we have to be cross marketing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the other committee is at the. Uh, Alliance will talk about first. <laughs> 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 if I'd have known I was going to be competing for volunteers, I would have brought my roller skates, but I've forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm involved in four committees this year. I'm co chairing uh, leadership development with Jenny. I'll let her speak about that. I am also co-chairing uh, Vision Task Force with Dennis, and I'll let him speak about that as well. My big project this year is I'm going to be uh, running, uh, chairing the Trade Show Committee. We're going to have so much fun with that year. We're trying something really different to bring out a lot of new people and to really make sure that every uh, person who's, who's going to be coming to the Trade Show in September this year really takes away something that's 21st century, something that's really hip, something that's really 
forward thinking and really exciting. So we need as many people as we possibly can to sit on that committee with us because it's such a massive job. Uh, we hope to have a good couple hundred people coming out to the trade show. Uh, we're also going to be uh, coinciding that celebrating Omdrev's 60th anniversary this year. So it's going to be really, really exciting. It's going to be really special, and I really need all the help that we can get. I'm so thankful to see a couple of already of my committee volunteers that are here today. Thank you very much for coming out and for, uh, for being a part of this. But if you know anybody who really wants to get involved with a really cool technology, forward-thinking, awesome 21st century event, uh, please send them my way. Please join. We're going to have a lot of fun this year, I can guarantee it. The other committee that I'm chairing this year is arbitration. Um, arbitration is basically a committee that doesn't meet or have meetings or anything like that. Uh, similar to Alan's uh, Professional Standards Committee, we deal with particular cases that focus around disputes around commission. Uh, so if there is a dispute that is unable to be resolved between the two parties, then they come to the committee. Uh, we try and sort it out. Um, uh, you know, via mediation before it actually goes to a formal hearing, uh, in which case we sort of handpick people that are not, you know, directly involved with either of those parties or brokerages to try and come up with an amicable, so amicable solution before it goes to court or lawsuits or suing or anything like that. So uh, that committee is relatively full, but if you have any interest in learning a little bit about that, you're more than welcome to contact me, and if uh, there's an opportunity for you to uh, sit in on a case, then uh, at least I'll be able to have your name on file, which should be fantastic. If you have any questions about trade show, please come and talk to me before the end of the day. Thank you. Right on. All right, Tom. Try to, try to get out here. <laughs> I know, I was going to say, is that like living Hello, my name is Tom Ao Yang. I'm Chinese in Cap I can't speak your language. I'm chairing the professional development advisory group. As you can remember, it's one of the four main tasks that we have to do. So it's very important. But you want to check off, it's not there. So you can just write on it if you want to come to my. Uh, our main <laughs> our main objective is to deal with education, and a very important part of it. Not only we educate our people, and also we can make money out of it. Since they make a lot of money out of it, some people from the outside, so it's a lot still revenue. So it's very important. Uh, we like to know what our agent want as education. So we have to do some research, we'll do some survey, which is kind of fun thing to do. Uh, the, the courses we're looking at, for example, like how to turn off your computer. <laughs> <laughs> I got one lady every single morning. She would come and say, that stupid computer doesn't work. I said, why don't you turn it on? <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's very valuable for us to have courses like that. <laughs> how to use the iPad, how to use, so all those are good stuff. Uh, are you getting on this? <laughs> and uh, uh, the second part of it, a lot of time when we do an offer with, with some other agent, we said, why couldn't it be more professional or more courteous? So we like to improve on those things as well. So we've got a whole bunch of things we like to do. I need help because I can't do it myself. I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> so please sign up my, in my committee. It's called Professional Development Advisory Group. And it's not here, but it's right here. So thank you very much for listening. And I uh, hope to see you in my committee. Or oh, not committee, it's a advisory. I don't know if I can follow that act. <laughs> um, I'm Lynn Hoffman. I'm the uh, managing broker at Broadway Page Real Estate Services at Lakeshore in Oakville. And I was asked to be our representative for the owner brokers of Oakville to sit on the board to represent their say in what goes on. So Jeff asked me to be here, that's why I'm here. So 
If there are any owner brokers in the room right now that I don't know, I'd love for you to come forward and see me after we get into our groups. That would be fantastic. Uh, as you know or may not know, my responsibility will be to represent all the owner brokers and to put on three, minimum of three, maybe four sessions uh, throughout the year that will be helpful to the owner brokers of all the other companies and brokerages. So to that point, if there's anything that you specifically would like to see, I'd love to, love to hear your feedback on that. When they got me for that, they decided that maybe I would like to be head of the discipline committee too. Like I said, I heard I'm pretty strict on discipline. So having said that, I was asked to uh, gather a committee of six, which I, I see there's three, maybe four of you in the room today. And thank you very much for those folks for coming out. Um, as uh, Alan said, I'm not, it's not going to be a very busy committee. I will be called upon when needed, and, uh, but I do look forward to working with everybody that's on my committee. I'm very excited about the group and the quality of the group that, that uh, we pulled together. Thank you. And lastly, I was asked to co-chair the bylaw committee with Jeff. So since that's his committee, I'm going to turn it over to Jeff. Hi everybody, I'm uh, Jeff Mahana. I will be your president next year, if all goes well. <laughs> and uh, I will be co-chairing the bylaw committee with Lynn Hoffman. Uh, at this point, there's really nothing on the radar for the bylaw committee. We went through a very large bylaw revision last year. Um, so it would really just be if something new comes up uh, that might lead to some bylaw revisions. Um, I also will be co-chairing MLS with Alan Evans, and then I will be chairing the PR advisory group with Charlotte. Uh, the PR advisory group is a new group that's just starting this year, working fairly closely with staff um, in terms of promoting the board externally. So we're in the process now of redoing the board's website and just figuring out how we want to communicate most effectively with members of the public, with the members, and with um, members of other real estate boards. All right, thank you. Hi there, my name is Dennis Horton. I'm involved with four committees. Uh, I'm also helping out with the uh, president's uh, the the ball as the event is happening as well this year. Uh, I'll start with the two that I'm co-chairing. I'm co-chairing Discipline with Lynn, as she just mentioned, and also co-chairing the Milton uh, Initiative. Initiatives Committee. Yeah, sorry. Uh, so I'm looking on those. But I really want to talk to you guys about the one that everyone's been waiting to hear about. So if you are enthusiastic, energetic, feel you're a people person, communication. Yeah. Free show! Fi <laughs> <finance, laughs> <finance, laughs> let's hear it for Finance Committee. <laughs> I've been beating people away with a stick, but <laughs> I have a few spots open for those of you who feel like this is your calling, this is what you want to do. Uh, we do have an outside consultant we, we work with, uh, as well as an accountant, and we have an internal bookkeeper as well, so it's a little bit more for high-end stuff. We have been in a meeting uh, in the last few years. Uh, Jeff Mahana is on our committee again this year. He's chaired the committee for a number of years, did a great job. He's uh, burnt out though, he needs a bit of a break, so I'm stepping in. Uh, but uh, we're gonna meet a few times this year, as well as uh, a meeting when we look at the budget that we'll be setting for 2000, the end of 2014 to 2015. So if that's interesting, you, fantastic. Uh, the other committee I'm chairing is the Vision Committee. Uh, that committee likes long walks on the beach. Uh, <laughs> but, we, but we never get to the end of the beach because we're always looking further ahead. So uh, that we also have commitment issues because we're never getting to our goals. <laughs> so that committee uh, will also be a few times this year. Uh, it, it, it's a fun group. Uh, we're not stuck in the present. We're looking to future goals. Uh, you know, two years, three years, five years down the road. We're trying to be this is a visionary board. We're trying to take that one step further. And Are you planning on having any meetings at the beach? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, the board is going to fund uh, a trip. For <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, but it, it, we're looking long term. Uh, so if you're a bit of a visionary uh, and you like uh, to, to think that way and you think you have a mind that would be suited for that, then uh, we're always looking for new input as well. Thanks very much. Thank 
Hi, I'm Dan Patterson. Um, I'm fairly new to real estate, about two and a half years into it. I um, decided to be a board of directors this year because I wanted to kind of immerse myself in exactly what goes on in the community, what we're doing, and be part of the change moving forward and anything that we're doing from there. Um, when you join the board, they don't play how many committees you need to join, but there's a lot, as you've heard. Um, I'm on two as a co-chair, events and professional development, so you've heard a little bit about those. They are great um, committees as well, but the one that I'm chairing this year is the Membership Services Committee. So, um, very important, um, trying to get membership numbers up, trying to do different things for membership, making sure that we have orientation, making sure that the members know exactly what they need to do and are aware of all of the benefits. Um, we have a bursary program for schools, we do five. Um, that's something that's really important to the community and looked upon as a great benefit. Um, and this year we're also looking at doing a value and, a, and um, affinity program for our, um, for our members and that's something that should be really exciting. So we've got a few people on now, at least three, four, or five committees before they leave. And uh, that's it. Thank you. Great. and I am the chair of the Leadership Development Committee along with my capable co-chair Sandra Gilrain at the back of the room and I also co-chair the trade show committee and Sandra's um, told you about how exciting that's going to be so uh, lots of uh, lots of good things coming down the pipe so leadership development um, we are a group that puts on events like today our goal is to recruit volunteers train them and hopefully retain them we're always looking for succession planning, as you know, and looking for good people. So we start out, we try to start out early in the year, uh, looking for people who may want to volunteer, and that's how this really all came about. Our directors did a great job this year, um, getting their committees together really early in December so that they can really have their first meetings today, little meetings that you're going to have after this. So it's really, uh, we're all really excited about what's happening. Leadership development. I've had a great team over the years, and a couple of them are here today. So we're going to um, see what else comes up at our meetings. We we uh, blue sky a lot, and we're always looking at new things. And we meet probably every month, every month and a half. Sandra, um, anything else you wanted to say about the committee? Yes. She left. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not. What am I forgetting? So yeah, we're always looking for new leaders. And I hope to see some of you on our committee. What? Oh, and why, I wrote that down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also chair of the uh, YPN advisory group. That's Young Professional Network, and that's young as young in the business, not necessarily young in age. Um, we have some upcoming events for the young professionals coming up soon, so that committee meets as needed. Uh, advisory group, and that's it. I think. Jack, Jack and Craig, and I'm the president of you for this year. <laughs> and, uh, I'd just like to say thank you for the chairs and the co-chairs. Uh, they have some tests to do, and they, it's nice to have them. Thanks again. I'd like to thank the uh, staff. They're excellent to work with. And what am I doing? Well, basically, I'm on the executive committee. I'll be attending Maria, Korea conferences, Central Ontario uh, meetings, and the NAR conference. I'm also the President of Charity Committee, and I think that was covered by Aziz quite well. <laughs> and we do, we do want to have as many volunteers as possible to make it the most successful. It's our 60th anniversary. It's a long time. We can be proud. The board can be proud. I'm also on, on uh, Charlotte's committee, the uh, no, task force. I also, uh, what else am I on here? I've got to find out here. <laughs> Government relations. And uh, again, that was covered a bit by Aziz. Uh, we meet two or three times a year. Uh, we go to what they call PAC days, which is a political affairs committee. Uh, one in Ottawa and one in uh, uh, Toronto. Okay. Um, these meetings usually last about three days. 
and I believe I'm on one other one here. Uh, that's it. I, I just want to thank you. There's a number of committees out there. We need your help. Please, thank you. sometimes as well. <laughs> Louder? Louder? Okay. I'll use my big boy voice, big girl voice. Um, I'm, I, I'm chairing the Strategic Alliance Task Force, which was developed this year as the result of all of the hard work we put into the strategic planning sessions. And um, the main goal of that is consisted actually of, we decided to consist of, of some past presidents, immediate and uh, recent past presidents, who still have good contacts with the other boards of directors and uh, some of the sources that we need in order to, to, to get things moving along, we hope. Um, the main goal is really to keep um, affiliations going with some of our, uh, our neighboring boards and um, uh, just, just to develop relationships with them, uh, information share, share in maybe education events, uh, uh, maybe some social events. As, as it goes along, um, we're targeting for three or four meetings this year, but as it goes along, we'll reach out to the um, membership for maybe additional support and help, depending on what is being planned. And uh, so we hope to see it grow from here and maybe become a standing committee. All right, excellent. Thank you. 